Should you be using a comb or a brush on your beard? Maybe both, maybe neither. Um, it can be a pretty complicated answer. So we're gonna dive into that in just a minute. Uh, but welcome guys, my name's Brian. If this is your first time to the Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, welcome. Uh, we talk about how to grow your best beard possible. We do lots of product reviews and tips and tricks and uh, little vlogs and whatever else we can think of. But on today's uh, episode, we're talking about a comb versus a brush, kind of pros and cons of each. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you there's no one right answer. And more than likely, you can use both to some extent. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, pros and cons and beard types and certain uh, applications or uses may favor one more than the other. So in general, you would think, oh, uh, this brush has got a lot more tines on it. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be more snaggy on your beard. I have found that to be less of an issue. I don't know why that is. I can even go out to this big, huge uh, comb that I love from Chicago Comb, and you see how wide the tines are on that. I find that to be more snaggy on my beard than uh, a detangler brush. Um, I think the reason is the way that the, the hair kind of gets funneled, where if you've got a, a pretty curly beard, you start going through it, it'll get snagged because as soon as it gets past this first row of tines, there's nothing else there to, to catch it and to keep it funneled into the right position. So I find that it can, and I love this comb and it, it works for me better than some of the more fine teeth combs, but I find that I prefer uh, a brush, a detangler brush. I use this for when I get out of the shower in the morning. I don't really have any snags in it. Uh, yeah, sometimes it'll, you know, it'll kind of natural shedding. You can get hairs in it, but I don't find it catching. Uh, whereas when I do use any kind of comb, I can feel it catching. I either have to stop or it, it can sometimes pull out, uh, pull out a hair. So don't overlook the detangler brushes. You can see the, um, the, the way it kind of funnels. Once it gets going in there, it's uh, instead of it being able to wrap back around, it's got that next layer that goes, no, no, you don't. You come on through. No, no, you don't go out there. You come on through. You don't wrap around. So I found that to be very, very useful. Uh, so when would I use a comb? First of all, a comb is a lot more portable. It's hard to carry around a brush in your pocket, but it's real easy to carry around a comb. I have a, a, a little Kent comb here that uh, I don't really carry around combs anymore. Do you guys still carry around combs? Kind of depends on how big your beard is, but uh, something like a zero or an OT, I think this might be, uh, is a good little pocket comb if you uh, are looking for one of those. Also, I found that the comb can work really good on your mustache. For some reason, the mustache hairs don't seem to be as curly. Now, when my mustache gets so certainly I'll have some that starts to wave around on me, but in general, a comb uh, works a little bit better for my mustache, unless you're really trying to train it. And in that case, I actually like uh, a barrel um, bristle brush. And that actually allows me to kind of catch the middle of it and like catch every hair as I give it a little spin out to the sides. So that's a little tip if you are trying to uh, get your mustache to separate in the middle. But other than that, a comb works really well and you can find some with really, really itty bitty teeth. This is a Kent comb. Um, is it an 87? 81T, 81T. By the way, I'll put some links down below. Uh, most of these you can pick up off of Amazon and they're not that expensive. Now, it, it, it can be if you go out and buy a bunch of things at one time, but what you'll notice kind of as you, you grow out your beard, you'll find where one something will work good for you for a while and then it may not be quite so good anymore. Like for me, Kent combs work really well until my beard got so long and then the Kent combs didn't work anymore. Uh, so then that's where I would go to some that was more spaced out. So something like the Chicago comb model number eight or uh, a pick. Now I've got a couple different picks. I've got a really, really cheap one uh, that you can get. And that was like the widest one I could find. So I really like going from underneath and being able to kind of um, do the, I think some people call it like the blowout beard, but it really starts to give you volume. You can volumize your beard. I think is what I, uh, what I called it when I did a video on it. And then I've got the Chicago one. I think this is a model seven. It's a little bit narrower. So I usually try to work on the, when the widest thing possible and then fine tune it after that. 
uh, let's see what else we've got. And it kind of depends on how thick your beard is. If you watch, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Bearded Existence. So he's an Afri African-American uh, guy. He's got a huge beard, super duper thick. I saw him go to start grooming his beard, combing it out. And, I'm, and he had a comb and I was like, uh, it looked like this one that I'm getting ready to show. He's like, there is no way that a comb with teeth like that. And I mean, the teeth were fine like this. It's like, there's no way that's going to go through the beard. And then what he did is he used the other end of it. And so instead of go having something with a whole row of tines, he was going after it with just one tine, kind of sticking it in there. And if it got caught, you could he just pulled it straight back out. It was real easy to go in, pull it straight back out until he could get all the way through it. And then he could go down to the next level, um, which might be using a pick or something like that. So it's kind of neat. Uh, there's something out there for everybody. You've got to find what works for you. Uh, I really like something like this and i picked it up off amazon by the way most of these things are like 10 to 12 bucks all right so you're not having to spend tons of money and i, I kind of buy some things even now every four to six months i'll pick up something new to try it out but i really like this one uh it's got um it's got nylon bristles and then right underneath that about half an inch below it it's got boar bristle so you can go in and it kind of goes in pretty easily for me with my type of ear kind of like the uh, normal detangler and then underneath that you'll get the boar's hair bristle and for me coming from underneath that actually helps me pull out um, the stuff on my underbeard. So if I'm going to go trim it or it's gotten really curly or bunched up under there, that helps me um, pull it out and kind of get everything underneath um, out a little bit more as well. Uh, like I said, I also like this one. I'll come from underneath and then what I'll do is I'll work backwards on it. So I'll come out and bring everything forwards and then go backwards and it's kind of uh, kind of doing the blowout for the bottom ledge on my beard because of my medium length on it. All right, and there's all kinds of stuff. There, there's another one like this, which will do the same thing. You kind of get the spin as you're coming underneath. But once again, it's got the nine line, uh, and then right underneath that, it's got a row of um, boar bristle. So it's kind of a, a different, uh, a combination of detangler, and then you get a little bit of a slicker brush to it. All right, and then uh, my probably my favorite is I never finish my grooming until I use uh, a, a boar hair kind of military style brush for the sides. All right, that's kind of the final piece for me, except for my two hands is the very final piece. Um, but I, I've had this thing since December 28th, 2017, and it's still going good. I actually got it in a combo pack. It came with this and it came with my little uh, mustache scissors, which I thought was really cool. I've used, I use both of these kind of uh, all the time. I use this one a couple times a day. Anytime I need to trim something on my mustache, I will use those little scissors. And it was like 10 bucks. I think it came with a bottle of beard oil. It came with a wooden comb. I'm not a wooden comb kind of guy. I think I dropped it and it broke anyway. Um, and I always have to be careful with my combs. Uh, I want the bottom of it not to get narrower. What you'll see on a lot of combs is, um, and then the Kent combs are pretty good, they stay wide, but what you'll see is it starts off wide and then especially on the wooden combs is they'll get narrower. So for me, things will get snaggy because uh, it'll start off nice and then it'll get narrow and narrow and then it's bunching up at the end and it's catching. So you have to be careful on that, uh, at least I do. Uh, everything I use now, nothing really uh, with combs, nothing really narrows down at the end. By the way, I will tell you, Another thing I like, kind of combo kind of ideas, when I got this one off of Amazon, it came with a little rake. I think this, I think it's only like less than $10 for both of these together. And that little rake will allow you to clean out anything. So, um, you know, about every six weeks or so, about every other beard trim or every other time I clean the bathroom, I'll go through and rake out all of my brushes and my combs and that kind of stuff. And this little rake is a pretty neat tool. It was worth the 10 bucks just to get that. But uh, I also use this every day as well. So let me know in the comments what works for you. Um, are you a comb guy or a brush guy? Or are you kind of like me and you've got uh, several of each? If I had to choose, I would, uh, I could probably stick to um, this really wide um, pick. And then I use this one a lot. And then my military brush. 
So these would be the three things I would choose uh, the most. Now I do use this one every day out of the shower, but my wife uses it too, right? That's the only time I use it because I don't put beer product on it. But I use that out of the shower and then any other time I'm styling, I'm using these three tools right here. So experiment around a little bit. Like I said, it's pretty inexpensive. Most of the stuff's cheaper than a bottle of beard oil. So we won't get into the heated brushes and all of that, but this is kind of comb versus brush. It's not really a, a winner or a loser. I would probably go with brush just because every time I groom, I use this particular one. But uh, like I said, they've got their, uh, they've got their uses. Um, for me, combs can be a little bit snaggy. So it kind of depends on what you're, what you're using. Are you trying to exfoliate? Are you trying to, uh, to slick everything down as a finishing tool? Are you trying to uh, work on your mustache? Whatever the case may be. So I got a lot of options for you. Check out some of those links at the bottom. By the way, those are affiliate links. So I do get a small commission uh, if you choose to purchase something from that. Help support the channel. You're pretty safe ordering um, styling tools off of Amazon. Amazon. I don't always recommend buying uh, beard oils because you can find a lot of stuff there that may not have the best ingredients, even though there are some good things. Maybe I'll go through that, but a uh, pretty good place to kind of check out some different grooming tools. Anyway, let me know what your favorites are. are. you a comb versus brush? I know a lot of guys are comb guys. I'm more of a brush guy. Maybe there's some more of you guys out there. But anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. A little food for thought. And as always, appreciate you watching and we'll see you soon.